things we're trying to do with this project is cover areas and collect data that are well difficult to access. The Wilderness Stewardship Project is a partnership we have with the Sicker Ranger District and uh, it's basically practicing stewardship for the two wilderness areas that SCS helped create, the West Chichigoff and Kobe Wilderness and the South Baranoff Wilderness. And in the Wilderness Act, the Forest Service is required to manage wilderness areas for its outstanding characters of solitude. Um, so to do that, we have to have baseline information on what is out here pertaining to solitude. How often you run into visitors, boats, planes, um, the feeling of solitude you have when you're out here. So that's the data we're collecting on this expedition. Yacobi Island sits on the northern end of West Chichigoff Wilderness Area. Unlike much of the rest of the outer coast of West Chich, Yacobi's shores offer little protection in the way of barrier islands and sheltered water. Paddling this rugged coastline, you're exposed to all of the fury of open Pacific storms. Beaches can be few and far between, separated by jagged rock gardens with crashing swell. All of these factors make this coastline accessible only to experienced kayakers and brave boaters. And for this reason, we have very little data from this part of our wilderness. Scott Harris, myself, and Andrew Tomes, Executive Director of SCS, were transported by boat to the southern point of Yacobi Island. Our plan was to paddle the western coast, collecting solitude data, recording campsites, and conducting anthropological and invasive plant surveys. Then paddle back down around the sheltered inside waters of Lazansi Strait. But as is the case with lots of our wilderness expeditions, the weather was an unwilling participant to the project. Yeah, all the food bags, and all the food all the yeah. waterproof bags. My uh, my oh, pants, yeah. my rain pants, and my rain jacket are out there. Well, it looks like the weather is going to be pretty bad going north, and I think that with those 45 knot winds out across sound and 25 knot gusts and 10 foot swells, we might reconsider going north up this coast. Can we well, pull four, in? 40 knot might be okay, but 45 is pushing. <laughs> <laughs> to make matters worse, I was beginning to acquire a pretty horrendous head cold and didn't quite feel up to paddling the entire outer coast in our single day weather window. So we reevaluated our plan and opted to head back inside Lazansi Strait to another area of wilderness, Stag Bay. Along the way, we also got the chance to stop at Greentop Cabin, where Kelly Pellet and his crew have been doing some innovative work using traditional tools without motors for wilderness maintenance and trail construction projects. Although it wasn't our first option, the paddle to Green Top and then on to Stag proved well worth the trip. Oh, we are in Stag Bay. And this is a bit of a, of a gem of a surprise because our intention was to powder the outer coast of Yacobi Island. We were shut down by weather and our crew you know, just like any other wilderness area, things don't always happen the way you plan. So I changed our plans and came up to Lizianski Strait, decided to come into Stag Bay, which is in the wilderness area. And here we are. Stag Bay. Um, last night after dinner, we were standing as a safe group, watching five bears forage in the Lingby Sedge. Um, all around us. It was 
quite quite a treat. Stag Bay and the outer coast of Yakobi are only a couple of the wild and unique places in the southeast Alaskan wilderness. To learn more about our wilderness areas and how you can protect them by supporting projects like this one, visit the Sitka Conservation Society's website at www.sitkawild.org. To learn more about the Wilderness Stewardship Project and see reports from other trips, check out my wilderness blog at sitkawild.org wilderness.